Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's bonus video is about rope lighting, a new feature in X11. Let's get started. So as X11 has dropped last week, uh, the beta version so far, um, from Chief Architect, they have a new feature called rope lighting, which really, really is cool. Uh, let's look at the software here. So rope lighting is really cool. Under the electrical tools, we can just click on rope light and draw under the cabinets. You can also right click just like any line or um, wall tool and continue drawing uh, from there. Now when I draw that, what it's doing is drawing a molding. And I'm going to Command E. And you can see the default shape and size of this rope lighting. It's this hexagon, hexagonal shape. Now it's going to the top at 54 inches, so that's right up underneath the 54 inch um, touching the 54 inches height of the um, of the cabinetry. So let's open up this wall cabinet and that's 54 inches from finished floor to the bottom. Rope lighting is 54 inches from finished floor. You're going to notice that the materials of, of the object of that molding is a glass um, lighting white material, so it's got emissivity. You can also control the um, light source of the rope lights. Uh, so we can do lumens, point light, spotlight. We can, um, if you're to do a spotlight, you can change the change the directions and angles and cutoff rates and such. Um, you can do your soft shadows. Um, we cannot add lights to this, but that's okay. In the general tab, I was looking for this under light data, but in the general tab you can say you want lights every three inches. Um, if it were a rope light, it might be every two inches. In the plan view, we can show the lights or not. And do we want to include this in the schedule? So every two inches we have a light. You see that there. Let's switch to the camera view. You can see how that looks under the cabinet. Let's quickly take a um, PBR, physically based rendering. Kind of cool. So that's rope lighting. Another upgrade to electrical tools is better um, electrical connections splines. So as I draw from this switch to the sconce, it doesn't make the con electrical connections go wildly arced as in previous versions. I really like how this um, these splines take shape a lot a lot nicer. I always felt I had to adjust them because they were way too they would come out you know like this and oftentimes overlap like that. Uh, if, if it, whoops. So it did auto save um, most of it. I can go back and do my connect electrical pretty quickly here. What, curious what would happen if I right clicked on this connect electrical. Oh, I've never tried that before. Have you ever tried that before? I can right click and just go click, click, click down the line here. Let's um, save this. I'm going to delete the electrical. I'm going to right click from switch 
and drag over to the light. And now I'm just going to connect on click, left click to the light, left click, left click, left click. The one thing I will say about rope lighting, it, it does not connect to switches. So I'm going to delete this um, outlet and I cannot connect that rope lighting in any way, uh, whether it's from the center uh, to a switch. So what I do is I do an arc on my electrical connections layer. You could draw a spline as well and just switch from here to the rope lighting. You'd have to manually draw that one in. So there you have it. Rope lighting and electrical upgrades to Chief Architect X11 beta version. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've learned something, as I just did with the electrical connections, right clicking on that, um, please drop me a like and a thumbs up down there. As always, subscribe, click that notification bell, check out my website right there. I hope to see you again. Tomorrow's tip is uh, really cool. I go into depth with plan notes, another new feature in X11. Hope to see you then. Take care.